Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. Welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now, if you're an off-roader, you know that invariably you are going to get stuck on the trail. And if you can figure out a way to get stuck, these guys are going to figure out how to get you unstuck. Chris, tell me about Gear America and how you're going to get me out of trouble. At Gear America, we make a really comprehensive line of recovery gear. Everything from toe straps, kinetic recovery ropes, shackle hitch receivers, snatch block shackle, we do everything. In any situation that you get stuck on, we're gonna provide a product that's gonna help you get unstuck, whether you're using a winch and need a snatch block, or you just have somebody that's stuck on some ice and just need a gentle toe with a toe strap. For example, we have a complete kit right here that comes with a carry bag, which doubles as a winch line damper, because this is a ultimate winch and rigging recovery kit. It comes with a tree strap, so you're not doing any damage to a tree with your winch line. It comes with a toe strap, a snatch block, and a couple of our mega shackles and a pair of gloves. So it's got everything you need to get somebody out of a sticky situation. But maybe you don't need all that stuff. So you can buy tree savers separately. You can get hitch receiver shackle mounts, and we have them both in steel shackles and aluminum, nice lightweight. Here's our kinetic recovery rope. Now, a lot of people do this in a bundle where we take our ultra hitch receiver shackle mount, which is made in the USA, 10,000 pound working load and a 25,000 pound ultimate strength. And this mounts in the two inch receiver hitch of any truck or SUV, Jeep, things like that, which is the strongest and safest place to do a recovery from. You take one of these and one of our half inch soft shackles, which has a 45,000 pound braking strength and a kinetic recovery rope. So, I mean, the real short version of the story is you put it through the rope, you put it through the shackle, you connect the soft shackle into the hitch receiver shackle mount, and you've got a system that's gonna use kinetic energy to pull out a vehicle. The kinetic recovery rope at 28,500 pounds braking strength actually stores kinetic energy. This has a bit of stretch to it. You won't be able to see it because I can't pull it hard enough. It's actually a big rubber band. Yeah, yeah, it stretches about 28% of its length. So you can take something like a 4,500 pound Jeep and pull out a 12,000 pound dually diesel with a canopy on it, amazing stuff. If you're in trouble, a snatch block is something you're really gonna to wanna to have and you guys have that covered at Gear America. Yeah, we have several different snatch blocks from our nine ton, which is a really basic one with two steel plates, all the way to our mega snatch, which is a 25 ton. We do have an aluminum version here. And then this one here is called our smart snatch block. As you can see, it's about the size of my hand. This one's actually a really tough snatch block, but it is designed for like the ATV and UTV market. So anytime you need a snatch block when you're winching, we've got you covered from all angles. And because it's a pulley, you're getting the mechanical advantage, essentially doubling your capabilities with the winch. Absolutely. And now let's uh, move on to the shackles themselves here. We have a couple different examples and lots of colors. Yep, all of our shackles come in pairs, but I wanted to put them all out here so you can see all the colors. A lot of people like to accessorize with their Jeep, make them different colors, things like that. I mean, you can see the Gear America Jeep, we've got different graphics in orange and things like that on it. So we like to make it so you can accessorize it the way you want. We do have several kinds of shackles. This one here is an ultra shackle. This is really lightweight. This weighs about half of what a normal standard shackle weighs and about twice the strength. This is our mega shackle here, which is a steel shackle. And then of course we have our Uber shackle, which is this right here. This has got an 80,000 pound ultimate braking strength. And all of our shackles come with nice little rubber isolators to keep corrosion down and keep noise down. And we even make an isolator to keep them from hitting the bumper. But this one here is set up with all of the industry leading stuff like the anti-theft system. Well, our buddy Harris is back here on the rear of the Jeep. And Harris, how does the Uber Shackle actually go on and how does it work? Well, our industry leading Uber Shackle has our anti-theft pin system. So what that is, is each set of our shackles comes with a pin for the Uber. It's the key. So this end cap is actually reverse threaded. All you do is put it on the end and rotate it. It's totally opposite. Righty tighty no longer exists. So here's a prime example. When you're off-roading, when that cap falls off, you're gonna lose it in the mud. So you either take off this cap before you go off-roading, or if you leave it on there, you can go ahead and take your soft shackle, run it through here, and then go ahead and hook up. Then you don't have to worry about losing your pin in the mud, losing the cap, or anything of that nature. With the Uber shackle, it allows you the safety and security of not losing it while you're on the trail. We spend a lot of money on our rigs, and when you have something this nice, especially with that 10-ton workload on it, you don't wanna lose it, you don't want somebody taking it from you. I doubt anybody's gonna have trouble with this, but if there's an issue, what can they do? They can just go on our website and fill out a warranty claim, because we do have that hassle-free lifetime warranty to protect all of our products. So any issues, just get a hold of us and we'll take care of it. And you guys are all about giving back as well. 
Absolutely, we give back 10% uh, to St. Jude's on any and all of our purchases. It doesn't matter where you buy a Gear America product. And they can find you on the web. We at GearAmerica.com, and then for our Canadian folks, we're at GearAmerica.ca. Fantastic, great stuff. You can find them online. It is truly the last recovery gear you will ever need at Gear America. We shall return with more Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings in just a little bit. Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. RDE Customs, take your ride to the next level. Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. And by NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. Motorhead Garage is presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. No matter what cool project you have going on, whether you're an amateur or a pro, your workbench is the center of your universe. And Lee, you're with SP Tools. Tell me why a workbench is such an important thing. For the professionals, it's all about efficiency. Efficiency is money in a professional shop. And what we do better than anybody else in the business is help technicians stay organized. To give you an example of what I'm talking about, this is one of our EVA foams for one of our wrench sets. So the next evolution to these EVA foams is to give the technicians a professional quality housing to be able to store all of their tools. And you're talking about efficiency because time is money. The longer you spend on a project, the more it's going to cost. Absolutely. So for a professional technician, it's no different than a professional race car driver, right? If you're running straight track or road course, you're trying to shave tenths of a second off of your time. They also don't want to leave their tools anywhere. And when you have wrenches or a socket or a ratchet or whatever that has a home, then it's very easy to look inside your drawer and say, hey, you know what? I left this under the hood of the car. Everybody has lost a 10 millimeter socket at some point in time. And what we're trying to do is to keep them from having to buy them over and over and over again. It's a beautiful workbench. And tell me about this workstation. What sets it apart from some of the others that are out there? This is the USA Sumo series. It took a little over a year to design this, and it was designed specifically for the US market. SP Tools is an Australian-based company, and a lot of their tool storage was of a European flavor. Boxes were a little bit smaller, a little bit more shallow. American technicians prefer a little bit bigger box, a little bit more storage capacity. So on the overall construction, we went 14 and a half gauge steel throughout the entire box. Some of the thickest steel in the business. We've reinforced everything with heavy duty slides. On our top drawer, we have the heavy duty slides on the sides, but we also have heavy duty slide in the center, helping to hold up the excess weight and drawer sag that loading this with sockets will. Will they allow me here to talk about excess weight? Got a little bit of myself here and check this out. I'm upwards of 200 pounds. No problem there. The slide right in the middle there and it slides back and forth very easily. We also did the soft closed drawers. You know, one of the things technicians do, they get in a hurry, they grab a tool, they slam that drawer shut and it discombobulates everything in the, in the box. So soft close really helps to avoid that. So no matter how hard we slam that drawer, it's still going to catch and close softly. Another great feature, power. And that's everywhere in this box. Absolutely. Technicians are getting away from air. For us as a company that got our origins from SP Air Corporation, we don't sell near as many air tools as we used to. It's all about cordless, right? So if you have cordless wrenches, cordless impacts, cordless ratchets, you've got to have somewhere to store those chargers and, and keep everything charged up. So in this box series, you're going to find power just about everywhere. We've got outlets, USB to charge your lights, to charge your cell phones, whatever the case may be, plus plenty of power to keep your power tools charged up. You're also going to find power on the side of the box over here. And the reason that we did that, in this configuration, we have the bottom box and we've got the hutch. But you can also add side lockers. The side lockers also have power inside of them. So if you wanna move your chargers and things like that inside the locker, you can still keep everything contained and charged. And no mess of cords everywhere. Absolutely. Whether it's just the 73 inch box and no hutch, no side lockers, you've got power on the side. I love the look of this box too with the black on black, but mechanics out there can also personalize them as well, right? Absolutely. Toolboxes for a technician are a very personal thing. So this is flat black with black drawer pulls. You can get the same box with red, blue, or silver drawer pulls. We have black gloss finish. We have a neon green. We have blue, we have red with various drawer pulls. And you can take a look at that at sptoolsusa.com 
or more important, something else that we're really proud of is the app that we've developed to help technicians acquire tools faster, easier, and get better service than what they're currently getting with their tool company. So you can download the app on any platform. And keep in mind, tool storage isn't the only thing that we do. Just in the SP Tools product line, we have over 4,000 part numbers. So obviously too in depth for us to get into today. Download the app, visit us on the web, either way, take a look and see what we have to offer. And where can they find you on the web and where can they download the app? SP Tools USA, and you can now download the app on any platform. Excellent, well check them out online. You got some time to spend because they have thousands and thousands of tools to check out. You are going to love it. And you're gonna love the product we have coming up next, so stay tuned to Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. You're riding along with Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. And you know, when it comes to racing and when it comes to off-roading, traction is king. And in the case of off-roading, that means taking some of the air out of the tires, which is a simple process, but putting it back in can complicate your life. But you've made that a lot easier, haven't you, Sam, with the off-road air buddy? Well, we sure have given it a good shot. We put together a little package that includes a, a tank and a regulator hose air inflation tool and a few other accessories that you need to get the job done and uh, you can air up your tires in 30 to 40 seconds per tire. And that beats the heck out of a compressor. It sure does. A compressor can take three to four minutes or longer depending on what kind of compressor you invested in and a compressor can break down and this has no mechanical parts, no gears, no motor, so it's harder for this to break down. I think one of the keys is you want to be self-sufficient out there on the trails. You have to be and the fewer moving parts the better off you are. We've tried to minimize everything to just exactly what's needed to do the job and not a bunch of extras. So we've got a 10 pound tank that holds 10 pounds of liquid CO2. And then we have a uh, made in the USA regulator. The tank's made in the USA. The regulator is high flow, high volume, and it's uh, frost resistant. So when you're pumping 90 PSI through for a couple of minutes at a time, you'll get a little frost around the quick connect fitting, but it won't restrict the flow. With some regulators, by the time you're on your fourth tire, it's iced over with dry ice inside and you're not getting much airflow. Yeah, that's an important consideration. You kind of thought of everything. Uh, the tank, you talked about the capacity. How much working time is that going to get me? If I have 35 inch tires, if I take them down to 12 PSI, I can air them up six times, all four tires six times. If I only take them down to 16 because it's a lesser trail, maybe it's not rock climbing or whatever, then I can air them up to 33 PSI 10 times, all four tires. So it's, it's quite a bit of capacity. In technical terms, it's 80 cubic feet worth of gas, which if you have a 40 inch tire, obviously it's gonna be a, a couple less times you're gonna be able to air it all up. And it's got a bunch of other functions as well, which we'll get to, but in the meantime, let's talk about what else is in the kit here. This is how we can fasten it inside the vehicle. So I have this quick fist bracket that you can bolt onto a wall or something, and then it straps on the tank and grips down. Pretty good rubber grip. I also include a couple of bungee cords just in case you don't wanna do that. Uh, I like the bungee cord system because unlike a hard metal bracket, if you roll the Jeep or you have a problem, you hit a hard bump, the hard metal bracket can shear. This will just stretch and then pull the tank right back to where it was. I feel like it's a lot less dangerous. Makes sense. We also include a high pressure rubber hose, 25 feet, which is enough to get to all four tires and then a little extra. And help out a buddy. Um, help out a buddy nearby. I've done that quite a bit. <laughs> the air inflation tool has a vent on it, so you don't have to disconnect it from your valve to kind of check the pressure each time. You just hit this little button. Oh, that's, yeah, it's very cool. Uh, a couple of Velcro straps just to help keep things organized when they're in the Jeep there. And we also include four brass tire deflators just to make things a little easier to air down all your tires at the same time. You're saving a lot of time there, and that's, that's kind of what this is all about. Trying to save time, make it faster, make yourself sufficient. And I see a few different color tanks. What's available? If someone will call us and tell us what they want, we can paint it a variety of colors. We don't charge anything. If they don't specify anything, they're gonna get this aluminum brushed look, plain tank with our logo on it and a couple other little stickers and goodies like that. And some mesh to wrap around it to protect it. and make Some it mesh. Looks are half of the game when it comes to Jeeves, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm learning that's pretty important. 
And the off-road air buddy is not just about air for the tires, there's a whole lot of other functions. So I have a lot of dogs that I take on my trips and I use the air nozzle to blow out the back of the Jeep when we're all done and it gets you know a lot of the debris out. And also you get a lot of mud in the radiator whenever you're off-roading and, and that comes in handy for that too. Absolutely. We also have a water unit in this Jeep here and that's an extra that you can purchase as well. Tell me how that works. The water unit uses a self-priming fluid pump and that pump is powered from your CO2 system. You put a dip tube into whatever container you want. We include a six gallon container, but it could be a milk jug full of water or whatever. Then you get a high pressure spray. It has a garden type fitting on it. So anything you can buy at the store, any kind of squeeze handle that you would fit on your garden hose, you can put on that. You can have a shower, a jet stream, a cone or whatever. I set these at 90 PSI and that's plenty to run the water system, the air system and run a medium duty air tool. Excellent. Well, all your friends in the Jeep community are going to be your best buddy when you buy one of these. It's the Off-Road Air Buddy. You can check them out at offroadairbuddy.com. Make your life a whole lot simpler. We shall return with more Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings in just a minute. Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings is brought to you by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Better battery bolt. You're nuts not to try these bolts. Badger Land Off-Road, accessories, re-gearing, tires, wheels, and lift kit installs. And by Ansel Healthcare Products, powered to protect. Time now for the Lowdown with Magic Creeper. Now we've compared traditional mechanics creepers with the Magic Creeper and, and really there's no comparison. Take a look at this one. That's a fine creeper if you've got a smooth floor. Look, it rolls around nice and easily here on the casters. But once you get it out in the dirt or in the gravel, there is no chance this thing is going anywhere. And talk about portability. The Magic Creeper you can take along with you. This, not so much. You're never gonna get it in your car either. It's never gonna fit. You're not gonna wanna take this along with you. The Magic Creeper, however, just weighs a few pounds and you can roll it up just like this and throw it under your seat or in the back of the vehicle and it can go everywhere you go. Let's talk about another place where the Magic Creeper shines. Ground clearance. Take a look at this here. This is the traditional Creeper. What is that? Four or five inches there. And then the Magic Creeper, just about nothing. And you get all that extra ground clearance to work because some of us need a little more clearance. The average SUV is about eight inches off the ground and you need all the space you can get if you're gonna work underneath. The Magic Creeper is your only option. Magic Creeper is great wherever you go. It's great at home, it's great on the road. If you're using it in your shop as a professional, a lot of folks like to take this outside if they've got a vehicle that pulls in. They can triage it, decide if it needs to go in the shop, decide which car needs to go first. If they just wanna take a quick look, the mechanic can just roll out the Magic Creeper right in the parking lot, take a look underneath, and it could be just a quick fix and the customer is on their way. We we also hear from a lot of pro shops that use it in the shop, again, because of the ground clearance. If there's not enough lift space, the Magic Creeper works as well as any other traditional creeper, and you don't have to worry about rolling over tools or bumpy spots on the floor. Any debris and dirt and all that stuff is on the creeper, not on you, because you stay on the dry part and the clean part of the Magic Creeper. Once the creeper does get dirty, it's easy to clean. Just spray it with your favorite cleaner, wipe it up, and the dirt is gone. Whether you're a pro or whether you're using the Magic Creeper at home, in your driveway, or around the house, it is the creeper you need in your life. It's going to make your life a whole lot simpler. Check them out at magiccreeper.com. You know, there are a ton of additives for your car, for your engine, transmission, and that sort of thing. And it's hard to tell them apart, but Tribotex really stands out from the others. How so, Brian? One, it will stay in your engine longer. Two, it will not break down any of your components like your catalytic converter. And three, we don't use products that would be removed from fuel. And what about the ingredients? I know some of them out there claim to be this magic elixir, but when you really break them down, they're not that special. Yeah, those lubricants are often great in short-term applications in clean oil, but in long-term use, they can break down into corrosive materials. Well, let's talk about molly, for instance, molybdenum, Disulfide. It's, it's very, very popular and it has some good applications in the short term. Molybdenum disulfide is a great lubricant. However, if it reacts with water and oxygen, it can make molybdenum trioxide, which is an abrasive, and sulfuric acid. It will dissolve it. So it not only makes an acid, but an abrasive. That's why it's really important to check your CV joints and your ball joints to see if the boots are cracked. If there is a crack, water can enter those areas and cause that molybdenum disulfide to break down. What is it about Tribotex that makes it stay in the engine and on all the parts? 
We work with the metal oxides and we will fuse to it, but we need to have extreme forces or pressures that are present in the engine at the surface level, at the friction. The particles are so small, it's like stepping on a needle. It will easily penetrate deep into the metal and force it and create this nice smooth surface that builds up. Like stepping on a needle, it directs that force right there. But if you have an entire bed of nails, exactly. it the force. That's one reason why adding a little bit of Tribotex goes a lot longer than adding a ton of Tribotex. Don't squeeze a bunch of tubes in the engine because that won't help as much as a little bit. And now Tribotex particles, as we've seen from some of the animations, and we've seen Pasha with the famous sticky notes. Yeah. Tell us how that works and how the particles cling to each other. They have two different sides. It's called a nisotropic, and it means one side is different than the other. One is sticky and one is slippery. What we use are these little particles that will fuse to the metal oxides. They react with it, but they're positively charged, so they repel each other. They are not like sticky as you would think of like a glue, but they're more like they can react with the metal surfaces if they are given enough force. And so with particles like that sticking together, they can actually repair flaws in your old engine parts and protect your engine for a long, long time. You can check all of this out at tribotex.com. Well, I've got my off-road buddy and my off-road air buddy, and we are ready to hit the trail. We are gonna be back in the studio again next week, though. We hope you will join us. In the meantime, you can email Jeff at masterstv.com if you have the great products like this one here. Until next week, from our entire crew and from Ender here, we will see you. So long.